Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And let's make a new ship. Because we just finished that big science build, and after a big build like that, I just like to build a little ship. Um, see what this little ship gonna do. Uh, well, it needs a power supply, and it needs a stabilizer, we know that much. And it probably needs some basic armor just for, if nothing else, for blocking out what we want done here. Let's see, we're just going to give it a little little start there. One, two, three, four, four, five. In fact, we're going to throw up a little symmetry. Three, four, one, two, three, four. I guess I could just come here and go... 5 by 3 by 5, which is what I wanted. And, hmm. What do I want this ship to be? Don't know. I don't know what I want it to be. 3, 4, 5. So we're just going to make it something. That's three, four, five. All right. So that's a five by five by five. Five by five. Yeah, five by five by five. And yeah, we're going to do like that. And then, and then a third one, right? Is that actually, is that? Total stick one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, we're at hundred percent for whatever the reasons I'm thinking there are four of those are only three. Or th five of those are only four. Okay. What is this ship going to be? I don't even know what this ship is going to be. I don't even have a vague plan for this ship. So you're building like normal, yeah, more or less. So take one of those. And let's give it a Let's give it some shields. Well, no. How much power? That takes 12%. Okay. I know the weapons take one power per per reactor. So let's give it a, a weapon up front. Let's see. What type of weapon do we want? Missiles are usually pretty good. Damage beam modules are okay. Um, cannons pretty, well, actually all of them are pretty good, but I usually find it's easier to hit something with a missile, because I get the, uh, the lock-on if you attach a damage beam computer. Hmm. Tell you what, let's give it a, no, let's not. Let's make this a quick-firing ship. So we want to put one here and one, oh. Um, yeah, one here, one there. Uh, no, we're going to do the the port. Starboard side controls the port. All right. Let's see here. Five. And as for you... Two, three, four, five. Actually, hit G. We can sell that 76%. 76% led the big parade. All right. Hundred percent. All right. So this should come up here and oh, come on, work with me. Should be a rapid fire. Yeah. That is not going to be particularly powerful, but we're going to see, we're just going to see. Uh, no, no, cancel that. Admin, let's load in, um, oh, something. A cutter. I don't think this will be able to even scratch a cutter's shields. Well, I can scratch them. Okay. All right, I think I've decided what I want this ship to be.
I want it to be a big gun. And I don't just mean like a big gun, I mean like a big gun. Okay, so we are going to... Come here, we're going to do like this, and we need more of these. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have five running out the back, two, one on either side. So there's five here out the back of the... Um, Six out the back. Let's do six out the back then. Six out the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are all going to be dedicated for weapons. That's one, two, all right. Let's, uh, you. And you do not need to be like that. You need to be like this. So let's go like ten. That is still 100%. Oh, are you familiar with the A10 Warthog? The A10 Warthog is the most amazing airplane I've ever seen. Well, maybe not the most amazing. A10 Warthogs are really cool. Uh, and they have this great big gun on the front. There we go. That's starting to get there. I like that. Hold on. Yeah, let's zoom in on it. Just ripping through those shields. It's not going to do a lot to armor because it's kinetic power. But this is going to shred some systems. So let's... No, I have it set to there. Unfocus that. There we go. Oh, I guess I could set it to volley. Oh! I like volley even better. What's volley? With your firing modes, volley actually cycles through, so not everything's firing at once. Hold on. Hey, I'm only pulling 61. Oh, no, there goes 65. Uh, reactor power. We can do better. No, no, no. We... Now that I know what I'm doing, I'm going to come scan. I don't know why I'm scanning anymore. I mean, the worst, the worst thing you can find out here is a, is a pirate station. And I've redesigned all my pirate stations to be spaceports, six oh eight spaceports. Hmm. I need to fix that while I'm still thinking about it. Anyway. So now I have an idea as to what I'm doing. I'm making a star made equivalent of the A-16 Warthog. The Space Hog, I don't know. So I need to figure out how we're going to do this. So we are going to have, we're going to need like uh, lanes, I guess. We're going to first of all throw up one of these. Five. Why did you just throw that up? Because I want this. Oh, now I can get rid of. Whoops. I can get rid of that. So now I can more easily extend these barrels. We're going to put the weapons here. The starboard is going to control the port now. The port's going to control the starboard because I read from left to right. Now, one 
neat characteristic of the E10. You should go watch an E10 video. They have um, they have a great big Gatling gun. They carry all sorts of missiles, and they have the uh, the cockpit's made of titanium. So we need to rip these out and probably make it out of something stronger, like. get some advanced armor in here which isn't actually necessarily stronger but um, we're working on that then some some just some gray standard That is going to be somewhat difficult to kill. Well, at least from this angle. Going head on. It's an armor. Total armor of 100 and. Well, somewhere between 40 and 133. At that angle, it's 55. Hmm. Okay. Any, well, we're going to fool with the armor later. Just leave that there to remind myself hey, we're going to fool with armor later. So we got us an idea. Let's grab these. Go. And we're going to come out past the nose just a little. Actually, we're going to come out past the nose quite a bit. And we're going to build this gun. Then we're going to build this ship around it. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is actually what they did for the A-10. Let's see, and that's 15, so 35 should take us to like 100 or so. Let's see. Where am I? Length is 50. That is not 100 or so. Um... That's better. Okay. So then from... Oh, we're going to say right here. We're going to... Shut up. No, no, no. I want this to be in... Proper units. So we're going to come to 50 right here. All right. So this is... This is 50-ish. From there backwards. So one... Two, three, four, five. That should be a nice five step program. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, building everything on five so everything lines up nicely. And by everything, I mean probably nothing in the end. All right. So we're going to have these connectory bits here. Little scaffolding unit. And how many of those are there? There are 1,300. 5 by 5 by 5. That is going to be more than two of these. Hundred and sixty-eight, there we go. Hundred percent. So how many blocks altogether is that? Main size thirteen, secondary slots fifteen, so we can probably do without that last group. By without that last group, I mean we totally needed that last group, but we're going to push on ahead anyway. It's 80 some odd percent. And by 80, I mean 98, 100 percent. All right. Okay. 
Exactly. Exactly 100%. All right. And now we just need to power this thing. A long spaceship. No, it's not. It's only 100 meters. Anyway, I... I have been JW608, and I, I'm thinking, hmm, is that really where I want the cockpit? It is now. Okay, it is now. I, there's no other option. So, I have been JW608. This has been Star Maiden. I will dig you cats later. You know, I could, I could scale this up to have, instead of one, have a, And like a waffle of the big... Ooh. 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 Alright, alright. I'm thinking too much. I've been JW608. This has been Star Maiden. We're going to build this little one. Then we might upscale it. <laughs> but I will dig you cats later.